<clears throat> so chat, let's all get triggered and mauled and talk about the ban list. <laughs> That's always good. Uh, Boruto manga is really weird chat. Any semi-cool concept Boruto has completely ruined with dog shit execution. Oh man, the show's really that bad. Uh, what the fuck is there to talk about? I don't know, I think... To me... I think two things happened. So like, okay. People are saying that the ban list feels incomplete. I agree. But I don't, I don't agree with people or people or I don't agree in the way that most people say, chat. Like, I think most people are like, oh, miscellaneous should have been hit. Um, L LP is kind of like whatever. I don't really care about LP, to be honest. Um, but when you think about miscellaneous source, and I, I said this before, chat. I don't think people really think about if you hit miscellaneous source, you basically should just ban the di the dinosaur deck is just dead. Like I do agree if you're saying that cap miscellaneous source makes it so you can't even interact with dinosaurs, which I actually agree with that part. It, it's kind of just like there that scene from Avengers where T'Challa is like, we don't do that here. It's it's kind of like that dinosaurs are just interaction, like we don't do that here. But the the problem is if you hit miscellaneous source. Then like what is the, what does the dinosaur deck do anymore? They they don't have the, I already think the deck's follow up isn't that good anyways. Um, good it should be. It has been meta for too long. Um, they don't need to kill everything. Uh, how many formats am I going to auto lose to Mystic Mine until it gets hit? Uh, that's actually that to me that, that that's that was the biggest ignored problem in, with the ban list. Like everybody's up in arms about miscellaneous source. Which, if you hit that card, you basically just kill the dinosaur deck. I don't understand why people aren't raging about Mystic Mine. Chat, is Mystic... What is the single most unfun card in Yu-Gi-Oh? Go, chat. You guys type. Whatever you guys think is the single most... And I'm talking about, like, legal cards. So don't be like, oh, uh... You know, Snatch Steal or something like that. Like, what is the most un... To me, the most unfun card in Yu-Gi-Oh is Mystic Mine. I don't even think it's close. Red Reboot, that's number two. <laughs> number two. Number two is Red Reboot. <laughs> VFD, okay, that, that's not that's not surprising that some people would say VFD. Um, they banned Master Plan. The format after Souls came out, so fuck Miscellaneous Saurus. To me, Mystic Mind is the, is the single most unfun card in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Because you can say, oh, well, my combo deck can't play um, when... Uh, VFD is on the field. Well, number one, Mystic Mind is literally VFD, so I, I don't really understand the difference. The only difference between VFD and Mystic Mind is Mystic Mind just stays there for like fucking 10 turns. And Mystic Mind just says, you, the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! will not be played by either player. So like, even the Mystic Mind player doesn't do anything. Like, Sky Striker, alright, I'll just pass, pass, pass. Like, Mystic Mind, oh my god. I'm gonna lose my mind. Mystic Mind is the definition of like, horrible Yu-Gi-Oh! chat. Because there's nothing, no, at least, at least when you get VFD'd, the VW player will kill you in the next turn. So there's something going on. With Mystic Mind, you just pass, pass, pass for like eight turns. Like, that is, that's not even Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, but anyways, I feel like you never read Kaiba's takes then. Oh, what did Kaiba say? Kaiba, Kaiba wants Mystic Mind in the game? Because I, I just don't want to call. Just play spells and traps, like he said. <laughs> That's not the point. <laughs> the point is, the point, okay, so we kind of have migrated, agree or disagree, I understand chat, you guys will be like, oh cap, just run MST forehead, I get that, but god damn dude, Mystic Mind is like, they don't even seem remotely interested in hitting it, just TT the mind, yeah that works, um, he said some mega rarded in the discord, um, I'm hoping Konami in turn forgot the limited section on the website and it'll be updated soon I, I doubt it sad thing is vw has an out to mine um even in the main uh yeah vw doesn't care about mine because they they got the trap card um i just think so like i think miscellaneous source is fine because i think i think dinosaurs the, the problem i think chat the problem that i'm that i'm kind of having with the Yu-Gi-Oh community this is the problem right so i was listening to other people's banless predictions and I was listening to MBT. I love I love MBT. I think he's super smart, and I, I watch a lot of his videos. But he was saying like the problem with this ban list is Konami hit the top two decks, but then they didn't hit like the other five best decks. And and my issue with that is 
at what point, chat, do we need to hit the fifth best deck in the game? Because to me, that's kind of asinine. Like, do we is, is the fifth best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh a problem? Is, is that a problem, chat? Like, we need to hit the fifth best deck in Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I feel like that's... I feel like no. Generally, generally, we need to hit, like, the top two decks and, like, maybe the third best deck. But hitting the, hitting the fifth best deck is how we get fucking Salaman Great Mirage Stalio banned. Which, by the way, that was a stupid hit when they did it. And in hindsight, chat, is that or is was that or was that not a dumb hit? Now we have Salaman Great Mirage Stalio, which, if that card came back, I don't even fucking know if they would summon it half of their turns. Because, like, what the hell would Mirage Stalio even do? Ooh, it, I mean, it locks them in the fire, so they can't even go for access code and stuff. Salaman Great just got power creeped. Uh, possible, possible. I, I just think, I think, I think, even, even though people will probably like it as a banlist chat, I think when you, when you're, when you're going out of your way to hit like the fifth and sixth best deck of the format, just because you hit the other decks, I don't think, I don't think that's a good precedent. Like hit the actual problem cards. You know what I mean? Like if, if we're going by that logic, like, all right, fucking hit prank kids. Prank Kids is probably, what would you guys say, like, sixth best deck of the format, maybe? Like, if Prank Kids is probably, like, sixth best deck of the format. Do we need to hit Prank Kids then? Like, to me, that's just kind of dumb. Like, hit the actual problem cards. Salamon Great still won an event um, with the Mirage ban. Don't hit the deck because it's the fifth best deck. Hit the deck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hit the deck because it's problematic. Like, I don't... No one can, when I say like dinosaur, no one can really explain why dinosaurs needs to be hit. People just say, oh, it's annoying. Like, dude, every fucking Yu-Gi-Oh deck is annoying. A Yu-Gi-Oh deck is not just going to roll over and let you beat it. But when I look at dinosaurs, so their inboard is like, what, Doka, Ultimate Conductor, and maybe, maybe they have Dino Wrestler Prank. That's like not a great board. Activate Dark Hole. Lose all your field. And then you probably just lose the game. Like, to me... That 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 is nowhere near the ballpark of Infernoble making fucking double herald, looking at your hand, taking the best card out of it, having Charles, which is a pop, and then also having uh uh the god Gearfried, which is like another pop, and all the fucking monsters are like untargetable. To me, the difference between like dinosaur and infernoble is it's like night and day. Infernoble, I got no time for that deck. Like fucking just ban that entire deck. Dark Cold, them after I mean I mean, you're going. You're probably going to use Darkhold during your turn. Uh, most of the time, they're not going to use Mist during. Like they don't. They don't. They're not going to use Mist turn zero and then still have another Mist in their hand for turn one. That's not usually how it works. Usually, when I see that deck chat, uh, the dinosaur deck burns almost all of its resources in the first turn, and they kind of only end with like one extender. They might have a Mist in the graveyard, like a second one, which I guess summons like an Ovi. But most of the time, that deck is like dead by like turn two because they don't really have any they don't really have much else you underestimate dino's abilities to always have it <laughs> i guess uh they will since we didn't limit it uh that's not how i feel um always have miss in hand always have it dino's is best going set yeah okay see if you're making that argument i agree i don't think dino's is a good going first that chat I, I think it's going first board is just not that good honestly going second is different what deck is Dino not breaking um, besides VFD and VW? Uh, if I if I was playing if I was playing El Dorado, okay. So so the way that I would look at it, Selza, let's say I'm playing El Dorado and I'm playing against Dino. What I would what I would try to do in that matchup is I just need to survive one turn. Now, obviously, playing against your miss is difficult because you're just immune to like all my traps. But I'm pretty sure, like, if, if I can just play against, if I can have a turn where you don't have the miss protection, I feel like I can beat you. That's that's basically all you need to do. Is just get them to the point where, like, you just survive one turn and they, they don't kill you. You know what I mean? Duh, what made you think they want to go first? I don't know. Every 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 time I see Dino, well, chat, when, I, when I'm on, like, DB Grinders channel, the dinosaur players always go first. Which, I mean, again, it's a, hold on, let me, let me show you guys. Like it's an okay board. I, I just don't think. I just don't think the Dino Hello boards guys, are like. The GB. Yeah, I don't, I don't think the Dino boards are like that good. Okay, hold on. Let's see. I think in. Yeah. Okay. So this is it, right? Let's see. Hold on. Uh, let's see exactly where he goes. Do 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 do. Like, is this really that broken, Chat? Is this really that broken? 
So you have exactly what I said, right? So this guy has no hand, by the way. You you blow you blow your entire load. You have no hand, and all you you end on. I mean, I guess ultimate conductor technically triggers baby, so maybe that does get you something. But like, is this that broken? Dinosaur should never go first. Sam proved that. Maybe I I just th I mean, Doka. I mean, you end on Doka, OTC, and I mean UTC, and like I I just don't think that I don't think this needs to be like hit on the band. Like this is okay. Like to me, this is fine. You know. Pranks. I'm no, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying this is not like I don't think this is at the point where like we need to hit it on the ban list. And every Yugi tuber was like miscellaneous source, the one ban misc, and I'm just like, come on, man. Are we just trying to make everything unplayable? Is this dinosaur player bad? Hey, this is a high I'll have you know, Rala guys, this is a high rated DB duel. Press one if high rated DB duels constitute the meta chat. This is basically a YCS. Press one if this is basically a YCS. This is basically a YCS, bro. It's basically a YCS. <laughs> this duel is basically a YCS. Oh, goodness. Yeah, he got Shrek in game three, by the way. Yeah. Doka, Doka was not good enough to uh, to carry him in, in game three. Uh, anyways. Uh, better than an LCS. Dino should get hit. Uh, just not a big one. If you wanted to put OV Raptor at one... Maybe because they still have like a lot of ways to get the Obi Raptor, but I feel like if you if you if you kill Miscellaneous Swords, I just think the deck is like dead chap. Um, all you end on is two negates, a book of eclipse, preventing your opponent from talk. That they, they don't they don't have they have to open with Lost World Shatner. They don't always have that. Uh, and tokens, but Regeki break build a uh, Regeki <laughs> break trash deck. <laughs> Anyways, may, maybe I'm just wrong, chat. Uh, why is Fossil Dig still at three? What do you guys think that Konami missed on the ban list? Outside, please, please, please. Before you answer. Not VFD and not Miscellaneous Saurus, okay? I don't want to hear about those two things. What do you guys think? I actually, if there was one card I could hit, it would probably be Quick Launch. That would be, that would be the thing that I would want to, I would probably want to hit. Even more than LP. Like, I don't really give a fuck about LP. Just put quick launch to one, cause I'm, I'm tired of seeing quick. I'm tired of seeing decks like splash quick launch, um, in their decks. Like I, we don't need we don't need rockets and like everything. Cap, you're spitting facts. I mean, if you guys disagree, that's fine. I'm yeah, I'm never mad at you guys because you disagree on something. Um, you can five of your cards negated. Activate mine and win. Um, uh, Dino just keep mine for three four turns. Activate Lost World. OTK. Yeah, that that's another problem that I have with mine. Killer Jet Storm, and that, that's why dinosaurs play it. Dinosaurs play mine as like a backup, cause cause like in, in this instance, like that duel we were just we just saw, right? If the Dino player gets their entire board broken, chat, they can top deck mine, and then they can just say no Yu Gi Oh is being played for like five turns, and then they 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 wait until they just get ultimate conduct, like they they can sit for like four or five turns, wait until they recover all their resources, mainly UTC, act like set Lost World, and then just like kill you. You know what I mean? Um, Verde Anaconda, is, is that Ruri? What's, what's that? I don't know that card. I think that's a VW card, but I don't, I don't know which one. The only, the only VW card chat that I know by name is, um, why was I going to say Lulu? That's not a card. What, whatever the, whatever the girl one is, the, the girl one that, that's like the Rota of the deck. I, I know, she, I know if you're going to stop any VW card, like stop her. Virtual world. Do, 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 do. Which girl? Um. Oh, her name is her name is Lulu. Yeah, this is uh, the only the only VW card that I know by name is her. Cause I just know like if you if you have like a solemn striker or a gamma, like fucking stop her. Cause she, she provides like crazy advantage. Yeah, I, I was like I was like I don't think her name's Lulu, but maybe it is. So you said which one should get hit? Rory, Roy, Roy? How do you pronounce that? Rory? Nan Yan, Lao Lao, Lulu, Shen Shen. This is some lazy naming, by the way. Gigi, Lili. Uh, you know what would be a good virtual world name chat? Cap Cap. Virtual world Cap Cap. Um, this looks like a trap, by the way. Okay, I don't see that virtual world card. Yeah, I, I don't see. I don't see that virtual world card. Maybe it's one that I just don't know. Um, put the trap. Oh, you're saying this? Put the trap to one. Uh, the trap is super annoying. 
because the reason the reason the trap is annoying and i know i'm, I'm obviously looking at this through the map through the through the, through the eye of a guru player is the trap kind of makes it so that you can't use hidden city because if you activate hidden city they're just gonna pop it and then you just like lose out on the, what's it called just mst it don't know but ain't nobody got time to be playing no damn mst uh probably should have banned heralds you mean arc light or are you talking about the actual ritual herald uh, fucking noob, just use Feather Duster. VW Gate Chuchi. Also, can I say something, chat? Am I the only one who didn't know that this card can summon from the graveyard? I actually just learned that yesterday. That Sanguine can summon itself from the graveyard. M MBT also said that. He said that, um, he said freaking Eldorado should get hit. And I'm just like, what? What are we talking about? Like, why are we hitting Eldorado? Like half half people half of the, the community says this is just a shitty trap deck, and now we're talking about hitting it. Like what? Uh, can summon from the graveyard? Yeah, I, I didn't know. Well, see the thing is, Riley guys, I always thought once you ran out of um, if you got the two, I was like, oh, this card's dead. I, I had no idea it could summon from the graveyard. I was like, oh well, if it uh, if you get your two lords out, then th you can't activate this card. Um, but it's like no, it can actually. It's just a call to haunted. Also, it can summon Ash Blossom, but I don't. I don't think like that does anything. Basically, Eldorado players are the most oppressed <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh group. They forgot they hit Herald of the Purple Light. Can summon from the graveyard. Yeah, usually do the deck. Conquistador hit Eldlick, so I don't have to wreck it. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Eldorado is just the evolution of a trap deck, chat. You know, the, the main the main things like Big Clement said is just, you know, they 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 essentially rather than power creep the monsters like Konami always does chat where we just make monsters more powerful, they just power creep the trap cards. Um Did they do that with Sky Striker chat? Did Konami power creep the, the, the spell cards in Sky Striker? Cause I'm not certain. I mean with Engage, obviously. Engage is like fucking stupid. Um, I guess multi-roll is kind of fucking broken too. Uh, yeah, it's by way too much. Yeah, because if you look at Sky Strike, it's, it's not really the monsters that are broken. It's just like the what's it called? And that was another thing I was thinking of, chat. So you guys know how like everybody is is saying, oh, engage should come back to uh should come back to one engage. Nadir said Nadir said something that I I I don't know like I don't know what the fuck they're doing in the OCG. Where he said that Sky Striker is basically full power in the OCG and it's not doing anything. There is no way, chat, that you can convince me that if Sky Striker was full power, that it would not. I actually think, chat, I believe if Sky Striker was full power, I think it'd be the best deck by a fucking mile. I think, I think if Sky Striker was at, like, I'm talking engage the three, I think it would fucking mop everything in this format. And I don't even think it would be close. Because right now, there's not. Unless you have, unless you have some way to like grab Imperial Order from your deck, there's, there's not enough. There's, there's like no blowout for Sky Striker. Like if, if Sky Striker was full power, I think it'd be the best deck. I think it would run circles around the format. 